Hello my gorgeous babes out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my little pile of shame. All the palettes that I have purchased but still have not used it in my collection. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. So if those things you like to watch, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. But with that being said, let's get into this video. Alright, welcome babes. Here we are. I'm gonna go over the thing that I am very a little insecure about because this exploits the fact that I buy too much makeup and I can't use all of the makeup that I actually buy. Um, but I just think I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show you guys these palettes that have been sitting here and since so much time has passed, I don't feel like I should really make a video with these anymore, but maybe I'm wrong and you guys can tell me if this is something you would actually still be interested in seeing me use on camera. You know, you guys can let me know what you want to see. I'm also having a little bit of ginger ale and whiskey. It's Friday, I'm celebrating, it's my birthday weekend, and I am just ready to have some fun. It's also Memorial Day weekend if you're in the US, you know what that's about. It's a three day weekend for a lot of us, so I am just ready to chill. It's so awesome to come from like a two week vacation, and then the following weekend go into holiday weekend. Also for my birthday and everything, like I'm just, <laughs> I'm just on 100, I think. I'm feeling really good, but let me take a sip. Mm. Oh, this is good. Very, very good. Anyways, I am off work, so I'm not drinking on the job. Just know that. <laughs> but let's get into this. So here's my little pile. It's not huge, which in the past, this pile probably would have been a lot bigger, but I'm making a effort to use palettes that I have and try to rotate things and be more conscious of that. And you know stop this from happening because i don't want to keep buying makeup and then not actually use it because what's the point of doing that you're really just wasting money and not actually getting your money's worth enjoying the product and stuff and i feel like this video will just show you guys that i have things that i haven't used and i need your guys feedback on whether i should use it or not um but let's just dive into my little pile of shame here so I think I have palettes from three different brands. That's basically it. And a lot of these things I got during the Black Friday sale at the end of last year. So it's been like, what, five months since this has been sitting untouched, unused, and I need to fix that. So I'll go into the first brand where I have stuff from is BH Cosmetics, which every time I say BH Cosmetics, my heart breaks a little bit because, you know, they... Um, was it Makeup Revolution that bought them, which is not my favorite brand. And I haven't seen them release anything recently, so I'm assuming they're like on a pause right now during this transition. I think you can basically just get some of their products still like on their website. So hopefully they will maintain their quality and everything and they will start producing some new makeup because they really killed it last year. And I think the year before they did a lot of good stuff. But I picked up these three right here. I think this was from the end of the year last year. Some might have been even sooner than that. But I have this right here, the Puerto Rico palette. This is part of their travel series. And honestly, I don't know why I decided to pick this up when this is not a color story that I gravitate to but the old me was a completionist like I had to have the whole series of everything and I was like I need to have the whole travel series which it's not the case anymore I don't need to do that and I actually let go of some of the stuff in this travel series when I did my declutter video but this is what it looks like and I'll show you guys inside like there's nothing wrong with the color story I just don't tend to reach for a lot of orangey shades, a lot of warm tones like this. This is a very like sunset palette. Also, it's really lacking any kind of depth. And I feel like some of the colors look very similar. Like, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked this up, but obviously at the time I thought it was a good idea, so I got it. Now, I don't know if I'll ever use this on camera. I don't know if I'll even use it in general. I might end up giving it away because this is just not something I can see myself using. And then these other two little palettes right here. This was part of their, it's the Say It collection where they have like, you know, some bad words in some of their palettes. I don't have the ones 
with the bad words on it. I know it wasn't everybody's like vibe, whatever. I guess they were trying to be a little edgy, a little rebellious. But I picked up the Loki Love You one because I was watching, I think it was Angelica Nikovic talking about this. And she was like, I really love this palette. It has reds. It's a really cool neutral palette. And it is. I love me a good red matte. I love me a good red metallic. But at the end of the day, honestly, I don't wear this a lot like this is overall pretty neutral with a few pops of red a little bit of peachiness i mean reds and peach look really good together so i don't know why i haven't tried that combo and the formula seems very nice in here seems like the usual amazing beige cosmetics formula just this has been forgotten about it's not a boring palette per se but it's not a super inspiring palette in terms of what like i like and what gets me like excited for makeup so why did I buy it? I don't know, but I think I want to keep this one for sure because I do like reds and I think like I could make a cute combo. So tell me, would you guys want to see me use this on camera? Maybe uh, like do a shot my stash and use this. Maybe do a neutral look one day, maybe, maybe. Then I also picked up the looking like a snack palette and guys, <laughs> I haven't even taken off the plastic packaging. That's how you know I really haven't used it. But I thought this one was really interesting out of that Say It collection. Like, look at that. There's like the pinks and there's like this gray metallic. There's a black in here. So you could probably go really smoky, really pinky, really gray. Like if you wanted to do a smoky gray like I look. And yet it's still on the packaging. I think it's because I keep buying new things and then I want to use the new things instead of this. And I've let it sit too long. So I'm on the fence on whether I should open it up and just give it a whirl or if I should give it away at this point because I haven't used it yet. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. And then I also have a bunch of stuff. Not a bunch of stuff. Well, no, a good amount of stuff. It's from Give Me Glow. So these were bought during the Black Friday sale. And for sure, I know I want to keep this one. This is the Juicy Olive one. I mean, this is my color story. Olives are some of my favorite colors to wear on my eyes, and it's my favorite version of green. Like, I love olive shades. I could totally see myself, like, having olive colors. If I were to get married and have a wedding, my, like, bridesmaids would have olive dresses on. Like, that's how much I love olives. But yet again, because I bought a lot of green palettes and a lot of new things have come up, I've passed in this so I could use those things, but I've heard great things about this palette. This is totally my color story. So now that I'm doing this video, it's reminding me that I need to sit down and use this and just do a really striking monochromatic olive like look and just embrace the gloriousness of olive eyeshadow. So I'm gonna actually sit this on my desk. Maybe I could film it. Maybe I could do even like a reel on Instagram. Would you guys wanna see that? I mean, you know, let me know, let a girl know. And then the other one is this one. And this one, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I think it was caught up in the whole like Christmas spirit. It was like Christmas time is the uh, Christmas morning palette. They've had this for a long time. They always bring it back. It's always like a big seller during the Christmas time because of the packaging and everything is just perfect. And the color store is cute. It is just very neutral with a little bit of like muted red in here and a little bit of green and like when this first came out i drooled over this and i wanted it for so long and now that i have it i'm like oh i mean it's cute this is special i know i have a lot of these kind of shades in my collection and overall it is more muted it's not like super intense and colorful like what i usually like but something about it is cute like, I need to use this. Maybe, like, you know, during the Christmas time? No, no, no. I need to use it now. And the other thing is the problem is when something is themed for a holiday, it kind of makes you only want to use it during those holidays. Because, like, looking at this, I only want to use it during Christmas time. But it's like, no. <laughs> you can use this any time of the year. But it feels weird pulling out something with Christmas packaging when you're, like, right in, like, hot, hot summer right like is are you like that too i'm like that so it's another reason why i haven't used it so honestly i probably shouldn't have purchased this like this was something 
I probably knew before I hit the purchase button that I wasn't going to really use it. I just got caught up in the moment, okay? Sales get you, you see 40% off and you're like, I have to have it, add to cart, and here we are. <laughs> All right, so the other brand, this one I have a fair amount of things from, is from Menagerie. And I have three palettes here. And Menagerie has the cutest like theming, little packaging, color stories. It's so fun. So I have the Serenity palette, which just was a collab with Annette's Makeup Corner. And I wanted to get this one. It was in, like about to launch and I wanted to review it on my channel, but it was so hard to get my hands on this because Menagerie is a small indie brand. Their stuff sells out really quickly. A lot of people love Annette's Makeup Corner. Like her channel is amazing. And it just kept getting sold out over and over. Every time they restocked it, it was like gone in a minute. So I just couldn't get my hands on this. And it was like, you know, limited in the supply and how much they could have at one time. And Annette did such a beautiful, <gasps> I just dropped the shadow out of here. How did that happen? Oh gosh. All right, uh, so one of the shadows broke. I don't know how that broke and it like shattered and fell out on the floor. I tried to pick up as much as I could, but this light blue one that is so sad, it's such a pretty shade and they no longer have this so I can't pick it up like a new one <laughs> but um, anyways i had a little accident here i need to vacuum the floor now but this is such a beautiful color story i'm gonna tilt it so the shades like the rest of it doesn't fall out but look how bright and colorful and fun that is i think it's like a really interesting color story i could see so many things that i could do with this i just think like because it took so long for me to get it and then it didn't seem like something I could actually review on my channel and then it you know no longer was available so it's like why I end up using the palette people can't pick up anymore. But I still wanted to buy it because I wanted to support Annette's makeup corner because I love her channel. I love her like makeup aesthetic. I thought this was beautiful, but yet I haven't used this because I keep buying new things. So when the new things come, and most of the time I want to film a video with those new things, I end up not using this because, you know, it's not really relevant anymore because you can't pick it up and it's an old palette. But you know what? I need to like do like a palette bingo and still use it and maybe inspire those who have it right now and you know show a look or something that you can do with that but that's shadow that is so tragic I have blue <laughs> sparkly shadow all over my carpet right now but we're gonna keep on keep it on as uh, Teresa is dead says on her channel then the other two are these right here this is the well song eyeshadow palette which maybe this was one that they were gonna discontinue or may have already discontinued. But this is so beautiful, like the greens, the blues, a little bit of like grungy greens to it. So this is definitely like something I would use. Like I like these kind of shadows. I like that there's a little bit of like grungy greens in here and blues and I have just a very soft spot for blues and greens. But because of that soft spot, I have collected a very big like collection of eyeshadow palettes that have a lot of greens and blues and i've been picking up a lot of new palettes that have these kind of colors and i've been wanting to use them more because this is an older palette and i think it may have gotten discontinued but i need to use it because this is beautiful like why am i letting this waste away like i don't want to let any of these menagerie palettes go because i do like the formula so far from menagerie and i do really like the color stories and everything so that is another one that has been sitting on a use. And then the last one, which is the Indio, Indio, Indigo Ink, what am I saying? And then this one too is really pretty. And this one has one of the most unique color stories I've really ever seen in a palette. Like this is so different. And being so different, it's like inspiring because of that. Like it makes me want to try different combinations. Like you look at it and you're like, what the hell am I going to do? Like maybe the obvious is the blue and the and the uh, red and maybe like the peachy colors together but it has like these cool like shifty shades in here they're a little bit more on the darker side a little grungy like this is so cool and i'm so sad that i never ended up reviewing it and doing looks for you guys because i felt like this would be a palette that could challenge me to try different things but i just i was gone and then things happen and time just you know move so fast and next thing you know it's been months and months since something's happened 
during you got something so that is honestly why i haven't used it yet um i have swatched it i've looked at it i've like thought about using it and then something else comes up but like i said i think maybe i'll do a palette bingo with all of my menagerie palettes and then we could create some cool stuff let me know if you want to see a palette bingo with menagerie then the last one is actually from glam light i thought i only had three brands in here but it's the icy palette this is the blue raspberry one and i don't know why i got caught up with this collection because i looked at them and i knew these are super monochromatic palettes i don't need anything from this collection yet i still end up buying the cherry palette which i have actually used i think i used it for like a valentine's day video and then this one has still been sitting and because of that i haven't bought any like monochromatic blue palettes because i have yet to use this one and like i said i have a sensitive spot for blue so i have a lot of blue eyeshadows and blue eyeshadow palettes so this has gotten neglected this was also like sitting for me waiting while i was away i think this maybe it was december when i got this and i was uh visiting casey's family in kansas city so it just kind of sat and then it got forgotten about honestly but i don't know why i don't think i can let this one go because i love blue so much i feel like this could complement other palettes be a little companion like if i'm looking for a blue shade that happens to be in here like i don't know maybe i'm lying to myself and making myself believe i'm going to use this but i do like the tone to blues it's just another one that I never got around to using but that was it that was my little pile of shame that was all my excuses and reasonings why i didn't end up using them and i'm glad i'm doing this because i wanted to talk about it remind myself that you don't have to buy everything because sometimes if you buy everything then you don't get to use everything um but i do hope you guys enjoyed this video you will have to let me know though in the comments below do you have a little pile of shame do you have a bunch of makeup that's just sitting there on use like are you in the same boat as me tell me i'm not alone with this struggle also if you are new here and you enjoyed this video you like a lot of makeup content stuff on indie brands stuff on eyeshadow palettes then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family i'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below if these palettes are available they will be linked if you want to check them out for yourself i will have other videos of mine that you might be interested in watching i will also have my makeup link like what i'm wearing i did film this look but that video will probably come up after this one so check out for that if i can remember i'll end up like in the future putting the link below but this look is so fun and beautiful my social media platforms will also be linked down there i'm on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty my lifestyle channel i do a lot of travel stuff a lot of everyday life stuff and then on my breezy underscore beauty i do a lot of other like makeup content i do reels i do swatches i may do looks with palettes that i didn't do like on my channel and i do it over there you know just check those out you might want to join my instagram fam and if you do i would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for hanging out with me for just being here and supporting me i really appreciate all of y'all and i do hope that you have a wonderful weekend holiday day whatever it may be i hope it's a wonderful one for you but i'm just sending you all so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.